Sup, Virgo? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for all of your love and support, Virgo. Uh, let's see what comes out for you for the highest good. Uh, okay, so you have Peacock Spirit. Let it shine. The number 46 could be significant to you. So with this uh, card, Virgo, I'm getting something about money. Like I'm seeing something about money in particular or something about a pattern. I feel someone could have a pattern or you could be identifying a pattern or something about um, analytical ability. I also see something shining through you, something about a light. I'm also getting something about the throat. This could be the throat chakra. I see you producing something or you're displaying something, Virgo. Something is being um, demonstrated by you, I feel, or this could be someone else. I'm also getting something about a crown. Uh, I feel you could be crowned in something in particular. This could be uh, an ambition of yours. You could even be a mother or a father. I see you being crowned. I also see you withholding from something spiritually. Uh, you're withholding, I see, or I feel you could be withholding, right? And focusing on yourself or you're withholding something in particular. This could be something spiritually. I also get something about a gateway or doors. I'm seeing something about the throat or a trachea. This could be a feeding tube or, or something like that. I see something in someone's throat or, or like an access point um, in someone's throat or something like that. Uh, I'm also getting something about the body or a vase. I see someone could be really, really firm. Or someone could be working out or someone could have a fitness business. Someone could be a, an owner of a salon here as well. Some type of salon uh, or a gym. I'm also seeing like a lot of money behind this. Whoever owns this business or something like that. I feel they've collected or acquired uh, something here. I feel this could be something very, very substantial. Uh, we're also getting something about a breakthrough or an evil eye. So this could be a bracelet or a necklace. I feel someone could be giving you the evil eye. This could be an elder. Something about an elder here or a turkey. Someone could be having turkey um, for the new year. Happy new year, Virgo. <laughs> someone could be having turkey or this could be a duck. Some type of bird. It could even be chicken. Uh, let's see. I'm also getting someone could be startled. Someone could be easily startled. This could be you or someone else. So you have lion spirit, be generous of spirit. Okay, yeah. So I see you showing your generosity, uh, maybe to a Leo or a Leo is showing you uh, some type of um, generosity or I feel like I'm hearing something about saving the day. I see a Leo saving the day or a Leo has saved the day or this is you. Someone could feel that you've saved the day. The number 37 could be significant to you. I'm also getting something about um, construction. Someone could be, um, this could be maintenance of some sort. This could be when it comes to the, to the physical body or when it comes to the hair. Something about conditioning here as well. This could be African hair, something like that. When something about a Leo here, there could be someone um, changing up their style. That's what I'm seeing here. Someone could be making some type of adjustments. I'm also seeing uh, something about senses or whiskers. This could be a trim. Someone may need a trim, uh, a lineup or a trim or this could even be a haircut or uh, someone could be getting their hair done. That's what I'm seeing. In particular, I see a Leo, a masculine, doing something here uh, as far as maintenance goes. So there could be some type of operation or um, proper preparations when it comes to this Leo. That's what I'm seeing. Uh, Virgo, let's see what comes out. Let's get some oracles before we go into the tarot. I feel spirit wants you to be more generous, Virgo. Uh, maybe when it comes to spirit, I feel they want you to connect with them more. Or this could be for someone specifically. This could be a Leo or an earth sign. It could be a Taurus here, picking up on a Taurus. I also get someone could be very envious, Virgo, when it comes to you. Do expect miracles. Something about a family tree, something about the family. This could be someone's family. Let's see for the highest good. 
I also get Virgo, um, <laughs> uh, Virgo, there could be something going on as far as work goes that you could be unaware of, um, that's what I'm saying. I feel like you may know what it is, but I don't know, you may not be talking about it or I feel like you're holding a poker face or someone's ho trying to hold a, a poker face when it comes to you. Something like that, Virgo, let's see. So you have glam here. Yeah, definitely. I feel someone could be doing something with their looks or glamorous energy here or glamour, some type of glamour uh, spell. Someone could be doing something as far as manifesting a, a certain look. I feel someone wants a certain look. Could be a Leo or a Taurus. Let's see. Yes, yeah, sexuality. So this could be sex based or I feel uh, something about... Um, changes to a, a physical appearance this could be uh someone's like clothing someone could be uh, wearing more um appealing clothing or someone could be planning to do this or someone's wearing uh, maybe nice clothing at this time this could be you or someone else virgo i also get something about someone's sexuality or um i feel like uh there could be some type of duality or something about um chains here someone could feel chained to looking a certain way or being a certain way or something like that yeah compassion i feel you have compassion for this person or you're showing this person compassion could be a leo there could be someone who um who's not as confident in their looks and you might be or something like that i see you showing compassion to this person or this could be someone doing this with you. I'm also seeing something about water, Virgo, for you in particular. Uh, something about hydration. Let's see. Yeah, ego death. And then you have connect. Wanted to come out in the reverse. So I see someone going through an ego death or something about falling from grace. Uh, Virgo, I feel this could be a, a situation you're dealing with. This could be someone you know. This could be someone that you're connecting to. I see a fall from grace. I'm also seeing like a fall or like be careful not to fall. I see someone falling or this could be an elder. I see an elder falling, but I feel they could be uh, ashamed or they could be really hurt. So be careful. Let's see. Yeah, initiation. Yeah, I feel someone may fall and they may get hurt. Yeah, Virgo, be careful or pay attention to this person. Karma, chaos. I feel this could be someone's karma to be going through this or this type of initiation. Whatever this may be, I feel like this could be something very, very um, traumatizing even. Or I feel this is uh, this is something that has set someone down. I feel someone has been set down spiritually. Or I feel someone can no longer do or connect to uh, what they've been connecting to or, or doing what they've been doing or, you know, whatever the case may be. I feel like this person can no longer do this or there was a death when it comes to uh, maybe what this person was doing. I feel someone was causing chaos or someone was causing some type of drama in your life. They're no longer able to do this. They're no longer going to be able to do this shit or, or have you um, suspended uh, in a relationship or something about a fall from grace. I feel someone wants you to have a fall from grace. I don't see it happening. I feel like it's like I see it in the energy. I feel that's like more so of the energy they want for you, Virgo, or whoever you're dealing with um, or, who, or whoever's conspiring against you. Um, Virgo, I feel they more so want to see this for you. They want to see you in suspension. They want to see you, you know, uh, caught up or hemmed up, whatever the case may be. Yeah, silicone, very fake energy here or something surrounding um, a necessity. I feel these people uh, look at it as a necessity to see you not working or not doing your thing, Virgo, unfortunately. Yeah, and I need for you to pay attention underneath the deck and stay very clear on your vision, Virgo. Maybe when it comes to the new year for 2023 here. It's something about tolerance as well. I feel like... Uh, you're tolerating something or something about your tolerance levels. I see you doing something when it comes to tolerance. Yeah, truth and aura. I feel that's the truth. I feel like you're no longer tolerating BS or I feel like certain things are no longer affecting you. 
Virgo. I feel you've been enlightened to the point where certain things or whatever this might be. Let's go into the tarot to really figure this out. I feel like certain things are no longer able to affect you. Something about a death here. Something is no longer able to transpire or I feel something about karma. I see karma stopping someone or someone's very confused when it comes to karma. Yeah, the sun card. It could be a Leo. Let's see. So you have the sun and the magician, Virgo. So I see something about manifesting here. Heavy on the Aries energy. Heavy on a Virgo energy. I feel you could be manifesting something, Virgo. I feel the best is yet to come. Seven of Cups energy. There could be multiple things or... I feel you have a various of things that you may be um, trying to accomplish or that you may uh, have on your bucket list or on your list going into the new year. Uh, I see new manifestations. I see you manifesting things that are very new. For many of you, I see you taking action towards expanding. Uh, right now, I'm seeing more so of like uh, practicality. I feel like you're you're being very practical when it comes to your expansion during this time and maybe a need for you to be uh, this way. Let's see. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. So work here, Virgo. I feel like you're working and you're just closed off, <laughs> Virgo. That's all I, I know you to do. That's all I see you doing here going into the new year. I feel like you're shutting things out and you're just working. You're just focused on your work. I also get you'll be praised for doing this, for shutting things out and focusing on your work. I see the universe compensating you and uh, blessing you, Virgo. Mm. That was just crazy what just happened, Virgo. You might be like, hey, what the fuck is going on, Virgo? I just left my fucking body. Let's clarify it. Could be something about spell work here. Yeah, Ten of Swords in a reverse. This could be you. Someone left their body or... What is the Ten of Swords in a reverse? The King of Pentacles. So perfect timing. I'm also getting something about uh, expect good news or something about an ending. I feel something has not come to an end or... Virgo, I feel like you don't know something surrounding... A specific person this could be a virgo taurus or a capricorn or i feel like a virgo taurus or a capricorn they don't want things to uh, end with you the hierophant i feel this person is interested in you interested in you something about an, an investment in particular i also get um yeah this uh, i'm feeling like this was a download like i feel like uh something i mentioned that didn't i mention that something universal or material um, wise here. I see the universe blessing you, Virgo, when it comes to your work. I also get um, ease up some, or I see the universe easing up when it comes to you and maybe when it comes to your compensation uh, with the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Um, be compassionate with yourself. Be tender with your emotions. I also get like something about your emotions here, Virgo. Uh, I feel you could be very emotional during this time or something about a, a deep wave of, of emotion or I see something uh, creeping up on you. This could be some emotion or I feel this could be a marriage or, or something like that. I feel this could be something mind blowing or shocking or something about an, uh, an out of body experience. It could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. You have the Nine of Pentacles here. It could be dealing with a Capricorn. Submission to a higher order. So something about God or work. The Ten of Pentacles, yeah. Spiritual wisdom and knowledge. Something about a spiritual practice or I see you doing the spiritual work, Virgo, necessary. So I see you uh, gravitating or I see good news gravitating towards you, Virgo, or your wishes or your commitments being fulfilled with the higher pen Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, the Page of Wands is here. Expect good news, I guess. Page of Wands can also speak of a lie or someone finding themselves or trying to find information when it comes to you. I feel someone's committed to to trying to find uh, to trying to uh, I feel someone's committed to um, trying to find information on you or I feel someone's committed to you so they won't so they don't want things to 
in with you. I'm also getting something about they won't. I feel they won't be doing something um, any longer. This could be something that you identify as uh, manipulation when it comes to this person. Or you could view this person to be a magician. You have the Seven of Cups. So very, very confusing when it comes to um, their expansion with you with the Seven of Cups. Let's go into the Seven of Cups. What is this confusion? What is this confusion? The Seven of Wands and you got the Queen of Cups. So there could be a Scorpio, something about a Scorpio. I feel a Scorpio has had an out of an out of body experience or I feel something has backfired when it comes to a Cancer, Pisces or a Scorpio or I see all of these signs. Could be a Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. I see having an out of body experience or I feel like something has backfired terribly when it comes to this water sign. Could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or I feel you have a knowing about a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Yeah, so there could be some deception. Maybe when it comes to an elder, Virgo, this, this doesn't have to be you with the Hermit card. This could be an elder or something about a Virgo. I feel there could be proper preparations when it comes to an elder or a Virgo. What is this? Yeah, the Six of Swords and the Star. So with the Six of Swords and the Star, I see you moving on to Karma Waters, or like I said, for 2023, Ace of Pentacles energy, I see you leaving the BS behind. I feel like you're no longer interested in um, maybe involving yourself in BS or maybe anything that's really deemed or viewed um, as deceptive when it comes to you. That's the thing, Virgo. I feel like you're not viewing things to be deceptive or you're not, you're not viewing people to be uh, trying to deceive you or... I feel you're just focused on moving forward. I feel like you're more so focused on um, calmer waters. I see something about spiritual baths uh, here for you, Virgo. I feel that's something that you indulge in the most. <laughs> Could be bathing or um, fixing or cleaning uh, of something, Virgo. I'm getting proper preparations when it comes to your future and your expansion after deception. I feel you weren't privy to this deception. I feel this deception was cloaked. It was hidden. It was hidden for a specific reason. Um, could be dealing with an Aquarius. I feel like you have a covering over your life, Virgo. Expect a blessing. Also something about miracles, maybe within the family. Virgo, this is what I'm getting. Let's get you a, a Moonology. Moonology for the sign of Virgo spirit, for the highest good. Moonology for Damn. So you got a win-win outcome is in forecast. Virgo is going to be a win-win regardless. Full moon in Libra. Do expect the scales to be balanced in your favor. Virgo, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check my description box where y'all can book a personal read. And Virgo, I'll get with you later. Take care. Happy New Year. <laughs>